tutorial we're actually going to show how we can work with this file to read data from it into our program. So I go to module 1. First of all I need a, um, a couple of identifiers. Let's say I'm going to have an array that can store up to 10 uh, sport names. So that's going to be string. I also need to declare and initialize whoops, as integer equals zero uh, and a variable that's going to refer to the array index. So array of sport names. Now we come to the actual file processing part. What we do in Visual Basic is step one is that we open the file and we specify how we want to work with that file. In this case we want to read data from the file into our program. So the way we do that is in one line. We go file open then one. One is simply a reference to the file and we're going to use this later when we process the contents of it instead of rewriting the file name. If I had two files open File 1 would be referenced as 1, and File 2 would be referenced as, as 2, and so on. The second parameter, notice we separate the parameters with commas, is the name of the text file. In speech marks, uh, and includes the .txt file extension here. The third and final parameter that we have to have indicates with open mode how we're going to work with the contents of this file. And you can see that there are options here. In the AS course, we need to know about append, input, and output. For today, we actually require input, which basically means not only have I opened this file so I can work with the contents of that file, but I want to uh, use this file for read only purposes. The next thing I need to do is to read the names of sports line by line, so one at a time, into the array. And in doing that I'm also going to just output the contents of that array just to prove that it's there as well. Now the way we do that is with a condition controlled loop. I'm going to use a while loop and we say while not then a new function EOF. It stands for end of file. It's a bit like the peak method of the stream reader class. While we're not at the end of the file, file 1, remember that reference to sports.txt, so basically whatever ins is inside this loop will continue to repeat until all lines of text from that text file have been read. So if we go over here, the first time through this loop, the word cricket will be read and put into index 0 of our array. The second time through the loop, rugby will be transferred from the text file into index 1 of the array. The last time through this loop, swimming, as the last item in this list, will be transferred or read from the text file into our array. The way we do that is with another function. So let's put the names of the name of the array, the current index, which we initialized to 0 up here, meaning index um, 0, or the first index of this array. Now the function is line input, and we put in brackets 1. Might help if I spell it correctly though. Now what that does is grab one line at a time from the text file and puts it into the current element of the array. Just to prove that, Let's go console.writeline, that current element of the array. Now before I go on, I need to manually increment the array index, because remember this is a condition controlled while loop and it doesn't actually have a loop counter. So the loop will run based on a condition up here, whether or not we have got every single line from that text file into our program. So therefore, i here is not acting as a loop counter like it would in a for loop, 
it's actually only referring to the current index of an array, so we have to manually increment it. That's the processing done. We've grabbed each sport name, one at a time on each iteration of the loop, and put it into a separate index of our array. We've then, just because we can, output the contents of that same array, manually incremented the index, so we do end up with a list of sport names in our array, rather than just overwriting index zero each time. And the final thing we've got to do is to close the file. We don't want any memory leaks. The way we do that is simply file close. And then which file? File reference one. If I just prevent the console window from disappearing so quickly, let's run our program. Now you can see cricket, rugby, football, rowing, athletics, swimming is there. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how we can get rid of these funky letters before the word cricket.